Good day everyone, welcome to Looping Forever. I'm Luke, your host here. Today I'm gonna show you what's in my camera bag. But before that, let's go into intro. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you what's in my camera bag. This is my beginner setup. It takes me a long time to do survey and eventually I find the right thing. So let's start from the bag itself. This is the bag I got from Lazada. You could probably find it on Amazon as well. I have bring this to camping trips, holiday, and so far it's all right. Apart from the waste buckle here that I accidentally step on it and break it. The downside is on the back there's no show, there's no padding. So it's not very comfortable after you carry it a long time. Now let's start from the side here. On the side, there's a mesh pocket here for your water bottle. And on the top here, there's a USB for your power bank, but it's not good because it's not charging very fast. And on the other side, there's a side access to the lower compartment. Usually I store my camera gears here. And at the bottom of the bag, this is, there's two camera straps for those big tripods. However, I don't usually big, bring big tripods to holiday. And on the front here, there's a zipper slot. This zipper slot is very shallow actually. Uh, I have the rain cover for this bag here. Uh, there is a microfiber cloth. I also keep my cables here just so that I can reach it really quick. This is a phone stamp that my brother made with a 3D printer. Yep, that's all. And now I'm going to show you what's inside the lower compartment. The good thing about this is it has a zipper and velcro so you can hear it make quite a lot of noise it's not easy for people to sneak up and steal my camera gears you can see my this is how i put my camera i could easily take it out and take pictures you can also take the whole compartment out now let's start from my camera first this is the canon dslr 200D. This is the APS-C uh, camera. The good thing about this is it has a flip screen, it has a microphone jack, and it has a very good face tracking. Also this actually takes full frame lens. The downside of this is it only shoots 1080p videos, but it's enough for me because it don't take up that much memory. The lens that I have on this camera is my go-to lens. This is the Sigma 17-50 to f2.8. This is probably the cheapest f2.8 zoom lens that you can find. It shoots very good. Uh, it gives you very good bokeh. It shoots uh, well in low light. It's not very good for video because it makes a lot of noise when autofocus. You can hear it at the background of your video. But, uh, but it's very good for pictures because you don't have to keep swapping lens and it's also for B-rolls. My next lens is the Yongno 50 f1.8 aka Nifty 50 or the king of B-rolls. This shoots very good bokeh, give you a very blurred background in your video or pictures. Uh, this is also very good in low light because of the wide aperture f1.8. However, for the Yongno, my one is very noisy when it's doing autofocus. So I, you might have to get a Canon one. And the last is a telephoto lens. Everyone needs a telephoto lens when you go on holiday because for you to shoot at places that you cannot reach or either places that you were too far away because there are too many people standing in front of you. This is the Canon 55 to 250 f4 to 5.6 uh, this is very light and this have image stabilizer so it's very good and very cheap too so i actually like this very much and other thing is uh, lens cap and the camera body cap i also have my uh, filter here i have uh, this filter is only for the sigma my go-to lens. I have the variable ND filter. I have the polarized filter. 
the reason to bring a filter is because you don't want to shoot in strong sunlight and also you need it when you were shooting things like waterfall, lake, uh, water so it's very good to have some at least these two filters with you uh, this is from Zome, it's quite cheap too and next I have my video cameras my video cameras is the Insta 361R I actually just got this for a while ago uh, use before that I have a GoPro Hero 7 which is my hanging camera up here now because after a few tries I really like this and I swap it out uh, you can just use this the whole day and pick the scene out at the end of the day when you go back to your hotel because it shows 360 I also have the underwater housing for the 300, for the one hour uh, I like to have use underwater housing even though it's waterproof but it saves me time in case something happens I don't have to find someone to fix it yep and now on the top part of the bag Another downside is when you took out the lower compartment, the whole bag just crumbled. Uh, the top part of the bag has two zippers and it actually open really wide, which is something I really like. It's easy for packing. I take some stuff out of this. And inside, also I have three uh, selfie sticks. This is the Insta360 Invisible Selfie Stick for the one hour. This is the Insta360 Bullet Time for the one hour. Yes, it creates a very good effect for the in the apps. And this is my vlogging uh, handle. This is also a tripod. It has a ball head. I can use it for vlogging also for my camera. It has a it's extendable, so I can get more wide shots. And also when I combine it with the Insta Tricks, the invisible selfie sticks. I can create a fake drone light effect with the one arm. This also have another use which I show you later. Uh, I have my hard case here. Inside is my lav wireless lavalier mic. This is from Silco, and this is the transmit. This is a receiver, and this is the transmitter, along with the lavalier mic. There's some random cables here to charge it. And next I have a blower and also a lens pen. It's always nice to have these two things in your bag because you don't know when you might use you might need it, even though you already clean your excuse me. Even though you already clean your camera lens the night before. And here I have a this is a, a power cube. This power cube have uh, two port here. One is a USB A and the other one is a USB C fast charging. So I can charge a lot of things on this. I think that's uh, in the back here. There is a, comp a laptop compartment. You can put a twelve inch laptop here. But I have my iPad here. My iPad is actually my uh, teleprompter over there. That's why I have to keep looking on that side. However, I don't always bring my iPad with me when I go on a short holiday because I don't want to do my editing at night. I want I rather spend my time go out taking more pictures and videos. Now I'll go on to my tech pouch. This is my tech pouch. I'm gonna show you my backup system for my video and my pictures. First, uh, this is the Western Digital two terabyte my passport hard drive. And this is a pen drive and what I do is I have this red power far hub and every time when I got back to the hotel I just plug this in and then I insert my memory card over here this is a fake memory card and it will back up those pictures into the hard drive and the second backup will be the pen drive so, and then I can also do wireless transfer to my iPad with this thing. The other side of my tech pouch is this random stuff. Uh, two Canon batteries, a Canon charger. This is the one hour 
4K mod in case I need it and I have this is my favorite portable light this is the Ulanzi VL49 RGB light this light have RGB uh, you can you also have warm and white lights you can also uh, change the strength so you only need this light when you go on travel it's rechargeable and another thing I have is just some micro uh, just some wipes for my lens and some memory card some extra memory card and the next pouch is <coughs> my GoPro accessory in this you have the backpack clips and then you have this mouth bike from Telesin. This let me create all these uh, POV shots for videos and pictures. And this is my favorite. This is the Ulanzi Yuri clamp. Uh, this is actually very convenient. This is for me to use when I'm on the bicycle. I clamp this onto the handlebar and this is another use for this ball head. I combine this together plus the Insta360 selfie stick and it create a, it give a very nice angle for the one hour to get 360 shots so yep and the rest is just the GoPro screw and nuts and some spanner yep I think and to wrap this up this is my Penang power bank. This is thirty thousand milliamp. It's quite. It's very heavy and very big. It let me, but it let me charge all my stuff, my camera batteries, my one hour batteries, my phone, my iPad, everything. The last two things that I that is always with me when I'm travel, but not in the bag. The first thing is actually the iPhone eleven Pro that I currently shooting this video right now. And the last thing is the this is my headphone. This is my Tautronic something 160 headphone. This have uh, ANC and it works very well when you on the bus or on the on the plane. I actually wear this when I doing vacuum, so I can hear the noise better, hear the music better. Yep, that's it for all the things what's in my camera bag i thank you all for watching and i shall see you all next time signing out